Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to add the weights that I did for the exercise video. You can use this technique to add a bunch of other stuff as well, but I'm just going to show you how to just add the weights exactly like I did for the video. So first, of course, you want to open up Blender since this is going to be a Blender tutorial. You have the, this is my default, I didn't, I don't have a cube. So you want to rotate it, rotate the camera. until it's pointing along the y-axis perfectly. Then you want to go over and add a background image. Then go to wherever your footage is. Mine's named DC DSC09. And then there you are. So you need to go you want to go to the very beginning of your footage you just look around to where you want to actually start rotoscoping the thing in. So I wanted to do that at frame 373 and I wanted to end at 455. So there we have Paul just getting ready. So we now we want to add a UV sphere. Scale it down so it doesn't look too ridiculous. And then over in modifiers we want to add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth it out a little bit. We want to click smooth as well. So as you can see it's nice and smooth. Then in the materials, we want to add a new material. I'm going to make it kind of dark. So the weight would look like. Then we can duplicate this and drag it over to the very end of the weight bar. And then we'll click shift, select both of them and click control P. So set parent to object. So then we can grab this and both of them will move at the same time. So we want to click the record button at the very bottom of the screen so then everything that we move the cube the sphere for will it'll make it an IPO curve so we click that and then just drag it around a little bit to record it and then we drag this drag this to match the center point of the sphere to match the very end of the weightlifting bar so drag 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 you just do that as many times as you need to throughout the whole operation as many frames as you want to do so then whenever you're done you go over into world make the horizon color green so you can chroma key it out later in your video editing software and then you change it from a PNG file to like MPEG or whatever video format you want to use. Export it wherever you want. And then click render. So whenever you're done, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So that matches Paul's movements exactly. So that's how you add things into Blender. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.